Hello, I'm Andy Williamson and I have the great pleasure of being the Chief Executive of the Air Ambulance Service and the Children's Air Ambulance. And I'd like to tell you why today is designated in our charity as Alexandra's Day, the 17th of April. Many of our supporters will be aware, if you've been with us a long time, of our former Deputy Chief Executive and Director of People, Alexandra Pope, a phenomenal woman who made a huge difference to the charity. But for those of you who don't know her and don't know the impact that she made, I'd just like to take a few minutes to tell you all about that. Alexandra joined us in 2010 at a time when we were just the local air ambulances in Warwickshire, Northamptonshire and for Derbyshire, Leicestershire and Rutland. And as a charity, we were growing and we were starting to become more significant in the work that we were doing. And we had a vision. There was a vision that this charity could do much more than just local air ambulances. And actually, we could do a great deal in healthcare and emergency care right across the country. One of those projects was the advent of the Children's Air Ambulance, something that I, through personal experience, had been very, very passionate about making a reality. And that was a long, difficult road. And at the time, I knew I needed somebody who could help with implementing, organising, bringing the structure to the charity that could back up all of those wonderful ideas and that drive and determination and commitment that we actually had. So in walked Alexandra Pope, sat down at interview, made a huge impression on all of us as we could see that steely determination that was on top of a really kind, generous, compassionate heart. And that was the perfect mix for our charity. Somebody who could really do something, but with true values. The very first thing that Alexandra did to us was actually introduce the values then that we now hold dear. Those values of creativity, courage and compassion. Three things that she showed herself in almighty abundance. She was the one who, first of all, introduced the concept of us being independent from the NHS, working alongside them as valued colleagues, but not being controlled by them and not reliant on them for our paramedics. So she introduced the notion of employing our own paramedics and our own doctors and wanted us to really go down that route in order that they could specialise in critical care, in that pre-hospital emergency care and pre-hospital emergency medicine that they now benefit enormously from. And patients benefit from that as well because that specialism that they can now develop being employed directly by the charity has paid huge dividends in there. Now, at the time, we were, I think we were told that this could never be done. No paramedics were ever going to leave the NHS to work for a charity um, and we wouldn't be able to deliver that kind of care on our own. Well, we did, and I should say she did, alongside all the rest of us. And she became that force, that energy into making it happen, but not just making it happen, then developing it even further. And everybody that we've had in our operations and everything since has got really good reason to be thankful to Alexandra for that work that she did in making us independent and making the charity to what you see ahead of you right now. She was the driving force alongside myself for setting up the children's air ambulance. We were very, very passionate about that because we knew it was going to be a vital service. And although it was controversial at the time because people didn't understand why we needed a, a children's air ambulance on top of all the local ones that we were doing, but the children's air ambulance isn't responding to those emergency um, trauma cases that local air ambulances will respond to. This was all about the transfer of critically ill children. My own son was in that situation many, many years ago, and sadly the outcome wasn't as, as we would have liked it to be. So there was a burning passion to make sure that actually all children should be able to get to the specialist care that they needed. And the best way of doing that was developing the children's air ambulance. So the two of us were a force together and we built that and again, through the many, many steps that we had to take, it would take me two hours to, to actually um, explain and illustrate everything that it needed to make it happen. But just look at it now. It did happen. And now we have not just the best 
local emergency helicopter service that anybody could have you know it's absolutely fantastic but we've also got now the only specialist paediatric intensive care transfer and retrieval system in the country and it is the best in Europe if not the best in the world and all of that takes a lot of people and don't get me wrong you know there are hundreds and hundreds of people who have contributed enormously to this charity to get us to where we are now as, as the really forceful organization that we are and very successful organization we are and successful not just financially actually the success is defined by the number of patients that we can now actually help and the number of lives that we've actually affected positively and I simply want to pay tribute to everybody who's made that happen from every staff member from every volunteer and you know many many people involved but one of the biggest driving forces in all of that was Alexandra and today we are paying tribute to her 17th of April her birthday you know sadly we lost Alexandra two years ago to the scourge of cancer um, great big loss not just for the charity itself but for all of us involved with the charity she was an extremely valued colleague but also a great friend to all of us and somebody that inspired a lot of our staff who went on to become bigger and better and, and greater in their job thanks to the work that Alexandra did with all of them and I include myself in that I became a much much better CEO a much better leader a much better person from having worked alongside Alexandra so she deserves the remembrance she deserves the credit and I hope that nobody will ever forget the huge contribution that she made to our charity and the huge difference that she's made to people's lives 